want to do a fun game now? Uh, always. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to okay. do a fun, fast-paced, uh, random question game. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. Answer the first answer that comes to mind. Yeah, Let's okay. have fun, okay? okay. Let me Loosen up. Let me just stretch it yeah. out. Do yeah. it. Make it happen. Some exercise for one day. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay. Come on. Yeah. What yeah. is your current favorite emoji? The fax machine, because <laughs> why is there a fax machine? No one sent a fax since 2000, like 2001. I've never gotten that answer before, fax and I'm machine. so happy that you gave yeah, it to me. Fax machine. How about your all-time favorite movie? Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, so or good. When Harry Met Sally. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, if you could trade places with another YouTuber for a day. Joe Circuit, it would be nice to feel adored like that. <laughs> if, would it be nice to what? <laughs> feel adored like that. <laughs> I'm so alone. I need, I'm gonna give you a hug. Thanks. Thanks, thanks Chelsea. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Best advice Zoe has ever given you? Uh, it was actually the other day when I was getting upset that someone had said something to me and she said, everyone's reading from their own life manual. So when you see, so I'd read some like horrible stuff where people were like, Louisa's a terrible friend because she didn't go to Zoe's book, uh, book launch. But there were reasons I didn't go. I couldn't get, like Tuesdays are like really hard to get, like babysitting is really boring. And I, had, I just got back from New York, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, but why are they saying this? Why don't they look at those factors? And she said, everybody is reading from their own life manual. So what they think is not necessarily what you think and you're not, you're not living your life by the same rules. So don't worry. I like that. Good job, Zoe. Good job, Zoe. Good job, Zoe. Shout out to Four you. for you, Glenn Coco. <laughs> yeah. Are you sad she's not here? Yeah. <laughs> there was a delay there, and I'm concerned. No, I didn't, I didn't fully understand the question. But I was like, wait, I'm, I'm, yeah. So, Devo. Yeah. Okay. Well, moving, no, I really moving on. Sad. What was the last TV show you binge watched on Netflix? I've watched so many. I've, been, I've watched Orange is the New Black. Oh, yeah? I've watched um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. I watch a lot of documentaries. Oh, cool. Weird documentaries. Like what? Like, like that one called Queen of Versailles. Has anyone watched that? Weird. <laughs> yeah. And I also watched one that wasn't on Netflix recently, which was about, sci sorry if you're a Scientologist, soz. <laughs> like, sorry for your life. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh, right. Oh, you're not. Okay. Cool. I mean, if you are, whatever, but I mean, it looks terrible. <laughs> I watched one about that, and that was like really weird. Yeah. Really I know. Weird. Yep. I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Moving on. I like weird stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> what is the weirdest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? I'm worried that Scientology people are going to see I said this and they're going to come like get that's me in what the I, night. That's what I, honestly, that's why I just changed the subject really quickly. I was like, yeah, me too. Okay, moving on. I'm terrified. I'm a little scared. So no, I actually am. <laughs> so we're whatever your choice this, is, it's uh, fine. No, we're good. We're Each good. We're own. in this together, okay? Don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Saved. Okay. I've got a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdest rumor you've heard about yourself? I still read that I'm secretly dating Jack Howard. I'm not. I have never dated Jack Howard. I have never out sexually there. touched him ever. Never. But I still, every picture is like they're totally doing it. I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. Swear. I, in not. my head, he has the body of child Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I could never touch him. If one song played every time you walked into a room, what would that song be? <laughs> I don't know. Next question. Really? Yeah, no, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> We're doing it. We're moving on. What's the most daring thing you've ever done? I made some... Oh, choices. No. Uh, oh, like, I've done. Uh. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I've been very daring lately in my okay. personal life. Okay. Okay. Next question. <laughs> this okay. Is Why are you um, I should have had that Diet Coke before I came on stage. I feel a bit jittery. Okay, wait. How about this? Oh, yeah. no. This is, this is actually the question that's next. Okay. Describe your worst date. <laughs> I'll just tell you it. Um, it was my second date with this guy, and I okay. was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, I really like him. It's going to be great. And it was my turn to arrange the date. So I arranged this little cocktail picnic where I put cocktails in jam jars, this little hamper, and went to this park. It was amazing. That's great like, effort. Yeah, I know. Sat like, what a lucky man. I, I, obviously, yes. Oh, why? <laughs> where it went wrong? Anyway, so we had this little blanket out and all these little candles, and I was like drinking more and more of these little cocktail things, because about... 20 minutes in, I thought, oh, I don't fancy you. But if I drink loads, maybe I will. This is not good advice for life, okay? <laughs> this is what to learn from. Do not do that. And then it got to like two hours in, and I'd had a lot of the cocktails. We were in a park. I needed Where's to go going? to the toilet, and there was nowhere. Bush. So. You went to a bush, didn't you? I was like, uh, Anthony, um, I, oh. I have to make a phone, phone call. <laughs> 
actually. No, I've got a different date I want to tell, actually. Wait! <laughs> We've got to finish this one first. Okay, I'm going to do two. We're going to do two. So okay. he was like, a phone call It's your lucky now. day, you guys. It's yeah. your lucky day. We've got, we've got time. And I was like, oh, I have to make a phone call. He was like, really? And I was like, yeah, no, I have to make a phone call. Like, I, and it's a private phone call. <laughs> at half ten at You're night. You're not invited. Long story short, I went and on a date, as a 30-year-old woman, I did a wee in a bush. <laughs> There have been like, worse things that have happened. I've never done that before in my life. I'm like, I pride myself on being a classy woman that will always find facilities. But, like, but not, not then. Can I, I ask you the question that we all want to know though? Were you like, how, was your aim okay? Like, were you okay as it far was as fine. you get it on dress. yourself? Because that would have been like no, no, no. the worst no, part no, no, of it. No. I was like a pro at it. Okay, good. And then I went back and he was like, did you just piss in that bush? No, you <laughs> do. And I was like, <laughs> Was he creeping on you? <laughs> I'm glad you didn't make it to a third date with this guy. And then another terrible date was actually one of the early dates before I got, got the gist of how dates work. So I was with this guy called James, um, and he was 32 and James. a data analyst, so potentially the most boring man in the world. So I was sat like having a drink. My phone was like this. Like you can, this is you can all see what a phone looks like. Like nothing was happening on the screen, and I just thought I can't bear it. I can't, I cannot stand to talk to you any longer. I started saying just mental things just because I didn't know what to say. Like we were sat by a river and I actually said, I wonder how strong that current is. Like things like that, like I just couldn't bear it. I thought, if I have to sit here and talk to you for 20 more minutes, I'll just die. <laughs> I'll just die. So what'd you, how'd you end it? What'd My you phone say? was like this, not ringing. Not, so you're James, you you're did, James. Okay. Right. Hi, I'm James, I'm boring. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, oh my God. A burglary? I'll come straight away. I'll come straight away. My house has been burgled, James. But I've your got phone to wasn't go. even ringing. <laughs> and I just left. And then I got in the car. And before I even drove away, I blocked his number so he could never contact me. Oh my me. god, I love it. That is the way That's to the go out. That's the last date of the way to go out. <laughs> this is great. This is great. I like that you have. You should write a book all about where I just states. want to do one more that wasn't a bad thing. I love you right now. So. I went on a date this week with a nice man who shall remain nameless because I'm going on another date with him. And I hadn't told him about my job. I just said, oh, I make YouTube videos and I like write a blog and stuff. And he was like, that's so interesting. But he was like, let's just go to Starbucks. I was like, okay. And I'd forgotten that last week in England was half term, which is when school's out for a week. So I was sat at a table and I saw this group of girls approaching like nervously, like, <laughs> like viewers clearly. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's, it's happening, so it's happening. So he's here and I can see them approaching in Starbucks. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, it's gonna happen, like it's <laughs> happening, it's happening. I can see it happening. And I was like, I was like, like that, and I'm like, don't approach. But they were like, so excited. And I was like, mm, it's happening. And I saw them get closer and he was like, yeah, so I did the marathon. And when I was training, I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, and then I went, Tim, something really weird's about to happen. Hi, hello. They were like, oh, can we get a picture? And he was like, what's happening? And I was like, oh, oh, oh. And it was really But weird. how did he react after? Like, how did he, he handle like, it? Does that happen a lot? I was like, no. And he was like, God, what are the odds that someone watched your video found? Like, I don't I was know. Like, I was like, I know, it's crazy. I love it's that. Crazy. I don't know. Let's let's leave here now. <laughs> So let's go somewhere alone or well, not a well, Chelsea, not on a first date. Wow. Steady. But you said it's going to a second date. It is, yeah. Okay. All right. A dinner date. You just, ooh, look at you. <laughs> That'll be a mess, won't it? Like, oh, what do I choose to eat? Mm, it's everywhere. Oh. <laughs> you just made up for skipping a question because you just told three three stories okay, within great, one question. Great, Good great, job. Great. What's next? Where's the next place you want to travel? I hate traveling. Okay. So... <laughs> I don't like so new no. places. So I just like to go to the same places. I'm going to Seattle at Christmas. Okay. Um, to see my friend Marie. So Dar yeah, so Darcy can see Scarlet. I like to go familiar places. Otherwise, I have the like freak out. It's like, ah, nothing's ironed. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last question is, yeah. what is your quote to live by? I've got a few. Okay. I like when in Rome. Like, so yesterday I wore a sequin dress. And I was like, when in New York, why not? I like this too shall pass. And I also like mind over matter. Okay. If I was ever going to get a tattoo, it would say like mind over matter. Because there's nothing that you can't do. It's just sometimes you feel like you can't do things. But you're the only person stopping yourself. You can do anything you want. Awesome. Louise, everyone. And Chelsea. <laughs> Interviewer extraordinaire. Oh, look it. Thanks. Thank you to Sprinkle of Glitter, Louise Thank Pentland. You. And you guys stick around because we'll be doing more interviews all day long. Um, and you guys rock. So we'll see you yeah, soon. Have a nice Bye. stream. Call. Bye.